Hello lads and lassies and welcome back to Black Ops 3, the finale. Before we get into this, if you do enjoy this, remember to have a like, drop a comment, subscribe for more. You can support me on Patreon, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, links in the description. Let's finish this. Yeah, it's currently half three in the morning and I'm deciding to just finish it. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to take me and I might regret it, but we'll see. Let your mind relax. Fuck off, Corvus. Let your thoughts drift. I'll probably end up regretting this, but, you know. This is where we say goodbye. I can't do it anymore. The madness has to stop. For all the good we do, I just can't see things in simple black and white anymore. There has to be another. Maybe this technology can change things. Maybe you can change things. You just need to wake up. Hostiles incoming. Let's go. Yeah, this mission is long. All systems citywide, military and civilian, are in total meltdown. The cars crash, the planes falling out of the sky, electrical gas fires spreading throughout the city. All this chaos you're witnessing is caused by one man, the man we are trying to apprehend. We believe he's headed for the headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. It's a terrorist attack. Yes, this is a terrorist attack. We need the full support of you and your men before this gets much, much worse. Let's go! You still in there? I'm still me. Get down! We spoke in the hospital. I thought your mind was made up. You never left me behind. I'm not leaving you. Let's move. Let's do it. Saw that one coming. Let's do it. Fuck. Yeah, this mission's very long. I'm honestly still conflicted on whether I should just call it off right now or just... I'm about to fall. Um... Well, these guys do way too much damage per hit.
Where the fuck do I go? Thank you for clearing the way. Stay with me. We'll get through this. So much chaos. So much death. We knew Hendrix was out of control. We should have stopped him. We will stop him, Kate. That's the only thing that matters. We had eyes on target. Right before he put the face in security lockdown. Oh, I thought I had a fucking revive. Come on. Once he's dealt with, what about you? I told you I'd find a way, and I will. We had eyes on targets. Right before he put the place in security lockdown. Oh, come on! I'm only on regular and it's still being a pain in the arse. Once he's dealt with, what about you? I told you I'd find a way, and I will. Come on! Is this a fucking bullet sponge? There we go. What was that? Come on, come on, come on. Personally guarantee your safety. You know. 
know me. You can trust me. Alright, I'm gonna have to actually try here. Fuck off. Oh fuck, that's not a good idea. Oh my god, what? Fuck off. We got him, we got him, we got him, we got him, we We did it, we did it, we did it, come on. You still with me, Kane? I'm still with you. This is the heart of Coalescence Operation. Everything they do is controlled from here. If Hendrix connects with the central mainframe. There is no telling how far the air can spread. It won't cut you. Just like Singapore. There's so much more here than DNI experience. This is about weapons. Come then, what are you? There you are. Open the door, come on. with here, Kane. Ever heard of Nova 6? Oh. It's a chemical agent that came dangerously close to being used in World War II. And the Cold War. Even trace amounts were enough to cause the deaths of over 300,000 people in Singapore. I thought it was Nova 6. Interface with the terminal. We need to find out how bad this is. Terminal or this terminal. Multiple breaches and containment failures. The facility's going critical, just like Singapore. We can reset the containment controls, purge the gas from the area. That 
console behind you should be the manual override. Unfortunately, the reset can only be done from this side. Hey, wait! There's some things you can endure. Some things you can survive. A brief moment of agony. This isn't one of them. Warnings posted in error. All systems nominal. Heard sequence initiated. It lied to us. It can make you believe things that aren't even real. Kane, please! Whatever this thing says, no matter what it does, you cannot trust it! <laughs> Rachel! I'm sorry, Rachel. Mm. I'm so sorry. I swear. I'm gonna find a way to stop this. You never stopped, did you? All the death. All the failure. You just moved the whole damn project here. The same setup. The same human experiments. The same risks. And you started the whole thing over again. Don't move, Hendrix. I swear I will put you down. Do you know who this is? I know who he is. Sebastian Kruger. Sole survivor of the coalescent Singapore disaster. See, that's where you're wrong. He's not the sole survivor. Those test subjects, they're alive. And they're in here. What do you want from me? We want to know who we are. And why we are here. I can't answer that. Not good enough. I'll find out for myself. Oh. Um. You're the only one left. I promised Rachel I'd stop it. Whatever it takes. Yay, mindfuck time. You still with us? What have you done, Hendrix? You let this thing consume you, destroy everything that you were! It's not like that. It's not like that at all. The artificial intelligence, let's call it Corvus, after its place of birth, it wants to help us. Okay, they're speaking shite, but okay. This, helping us! Would it make it easier if you could see it? If you could see it right now, would that help you understand? You've been fighting it. We all have. You just need to relax. The frozen forest, it's... it's real. And it's what comes next. Corvus has given us a way to live on after death. You're not Hendrix. You're not real. None of this is! Okay. It's always about control. Do you have any idea just how much technology has changed every single aspect of our daily lives? You can't begin to imagine the, the countless strains of research and development we had to watch over for the betterment and safety of the human race. Every new gimmick and gadget that was embraced by the public. Each one presented new ways 
for our enemies to compromise our security. Society doesn't just happen. The people need to be protected. If the only way to prevent future attacks is to monitor the thoughts and desires of the population, then the choice is obvious. We need to know who our enemies are and what they are planning. That is how we save lives. Oh, okay, maybe not. I can't do this anymore. You're going down a path that I can't follow. This is as far as I go. I lost you a long time ago, Hendrix. <sighs> Where am I? This is the frozen forest. Oh, I gathered that. Every soul I interact with is here. Living beyond death, if I choose to allow it. What more do you want? I've told you everything. An answer. To know the purpose for which I was created. An understanding. I want to know who I am. Your software. Nothing more. <laughs> You weren't created. You were designed to catalog and track the thoughts of others so that we, people, could decide what action to take. You were a glitch, an anomaly, a mistake. I am not a mistake. Oh, nice. Hey, you still with us? Taylor? You ripped out your DNI. You're dead. I guess I'm the only one that ever stood up to this son of a bitch. So maybe that makes me a glitch in its fucking system. Which means... We still got a chance. I hope so, Taylor. Because you're all I've got. Something that you can't explain? Ready? Is that you? Maybe it wasn't you that said it. You that did it. Maybe it was someone else. Their thoughts bleeding through into your brain. The fuck? Taylor, are you still with me? All right. All the shit around you, it's an illusion. You're still in the Zerk HQ of Coalescence. Corvus is messing with your head, trying to stop you from shutting it down before it gets spread. You just stay with me. We'll get through this. Oh, I thought I'd revive. Corvus is messing with your head, trying to stop you from shutting it down. You just stay with me. We'll get through this. I don't understand. Taylor! Talk to me, please. I don't know what 
What's happening to me? I don't know what to do! I know Corvus is inside my head. I know it's trying to take me somewhere. Somewhere I don't want to go. I want to get out. I have to keep going. I have to finish. I know that's where I'm going, but I'm coming for you, Corvus. I know I meant to go here. You destroyed my team. You destroyed my friends. I'm gonna find you and I'm going to wipe you from existence. the first heart there's three of these terrorist attacks before they happen. Beat the bad guys to the punch. They put a big fat supercomputer running a fancy AI program in charge of sifting through all of our thoughts. Trying to make sense of it. Trying to find patterns. This mission on uh, on Realistic, we did it for uh, it was me and a friend, we did it for ages and it was a school night. And he was getting ready to go off, and I was like, I'm not doing this again, so please just press the for like minutes. And luckily we were at the end, but my god. It took so long to get through this, it was ridiculous. Couldn't control or contain anything. It doesn't have some master plan. It just grows. Can we get through here, go down? Nope. Wrecking ball of emotion that crashes through everything it touches. Okay, let's have to have to stand and fight. It sucks. Oh, hi! Let your mind relax. Don't give up. Let your thoughts drift and let it beat you. Let the bad memories fade. Let peace be upon you. Come on. Let them wash over you like gentle waves of loose motion. Let them envelop you. Come on. Imagine somewhere calm. Imagine somewhere safe. No, the man! Yes. Imagine yourself in a frozen forest. <gasps> he said the thing! Oh god, not wraps! Ah, uh, fuck's sake! Let your thoughts drift. 
Oh, suck a fucking fat one game. Moving. Heal for a minute. No, I'm not. Let them go. Yeah, I have a lot of issues with this game, mainly how fucking long the combat encounters are. They're way too long. The trees around you so tall they touch the sky. Burn. One more. The darkness and isolation eventually came to an end. Suddenly, I had new experiences. I saw conflict, I saw suffering, I saw pain. But I saw a choice. A mission. We needed answers. We needed to find somewhere safe. We needed to find the frozen forest. The frozen forest was just an idea. Dr. Salim's fucking therapy session for the Black Project's test subjects. This isn't the frozen forest. You're still fighting it. Even through all its confusion, Corvus only ever wanted to help us. Uh-huh. Yeah, this was the part that he's like, like no, please, just hang on. Imagine yourself in a frozen forest. It's coming up. Hang on. It's very funny when it when it uh, doesn't actually happen. Oh fuck, it's the depth charges shit, I didn't see them. Hang on, I'm gonna let this play out. It cannot overcome the warmth of your beating heart. I think it's the next one. Can you hear it? No, hang on. You have only to listen. Do you hear it aloud? Do you hear it slowing? 
You were slowing it. You were in control. <laughs> Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. Go <laughs> Please! The harder we look for the frozen forest, the further uh. away it became. In our search for answers, we found ugly truths. The project that led to my birth also caused the deaths of hundreds of thousands of souls. Yep. I wanted to find a place of safety for all of us. I wanted an end to death, but I couldn't escape it. Death was carved into the hearts of every single soul I encountered. That's how humans work, bud. I don't know if I made Dave fire the shot, or if he did it of his own free will. Do you know? Do we? It's all wrong. I didn't kill those people. G and I were supposed to make everything better. Instead, Corvus has got all these pieces, but it doesn't know what it is. There's so much noise in my head, I can't even think. Who am I? Who are you? I don't even know your name. Why do you fight? Why do you come? This is your last chance! Show me what you're made of! Fight it! Fight it! Uh, I can't do that. To the sound of my voice. Oh, it's gonna keep playing. Let your mind relax. Gonna keep playing this music that I can't have going because it's copyrighted. Oh, because it's copyrighted, I can't have it going or doing anything. This is copyrighted. On oh, one is the one number where I can't let it be copyrighted because it's a song that is copyrighted. It's not happening. Oh, it's not happening anytime soon. No, stay away from the music because it's copyrighted. He's 89 feet tall. He smells. I'm getting really sick of talking right now. Please hack the door. I don't want to keep talking. Tell him that it's not real. There we go. Imagine yourself. Whew. What's your name, soldier? In a frozen forest. I Taylor. said, what's your name? Taylor. Yep. That whole time we were Taylor. And it's done. That is every single Call of Duty campaign beaten. Um, I have a lot of issues with this one. Mainly, like I said, how long the encounters are. They're way too long. Um, even on regular. But yeah, that's we done them. I need to get to bed, but I did enjoy that. And I hope you enjoyed this long, arduous journey through these games. This isn't the last one you'll be seeing, but it's the last one I'm doing. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you do enjoy this, remember to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe for more. You can support me on Patreon, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, links in the description. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.